Good morning. We're in Costa Cook. That's what I'm calling this place. You and Olsen has this whatever Casa. This is Casa Cook. As you guys can see, I still don't have. I still don't have a table. I still don't have stools. But I've been in Ireland, okay? So give me a break. I've been in Ireland. I'm back now. We have our very first, very first, I guess, videographer submission. We have my man Steve behind the camera. Should we, should we say hello to Steve? Let's say hello to Steve right now. What? What's up, guys? What is this guy doing? Look at this guy's style. Look at this guy's style. Yeah, Steve actually hired me as like his personal trainer now, slash stylist, so. Slash everything. Slash everything, yeah. So. <laughs> oh, that's cool. That camera's insane. Yeah, I think David Blade actually shoots on that. First things first, when I was gone, I got a lot of packages, so let's do a little mail time. Let's try all over at him real quick. Bring them out here. Uh, yeah, actually. So if you guys have uh, ever watched my vlogs, if you've watched, if you've watched one of my vlogs, this is the shoe room slash Gymshark room slash I don't know hats and it's just the hodgepodge room. All right, it's a little too cluttery. Whoa, mm -hmm. a lot of shoes. I have a, I have an obsession, but this time I actually got some shoes for some other people. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, it's giveaway time. I, I, I wasn't lying in the last video when I said um, I have some shoes. So I got some shoes off GOAT. GOAT's where I get all of my, my shoes, especially high-end ones because they verify everything. And I did uh, actually a Yeezy, I did a Yeezy giveaway um, last time with GOAT. And we're doing one again. So this time we're gonna be giving away a pair of off-white shoes. Not necessarily the Vapor Maxes, but we're gonna be giving a pair of the off-whites. Off-whites are probably the most, probably the most epic shoe right now. I just love them. I just wanna try to enter to win a pair of the off-whites. You have to follow me on Instagram. I'm actually gonna post on Instagram. So after you guys watch this video, go over to my Instagram, Steve Cook. Um, the, the post will be up there. Follow me, follow GOAT, and then tag uh, three people on the post. It's, you know, it's, it's, it's a fun way. If I wanna do giveaways, this is, this is a fun way to do them, and who doesn't love a chance to win a pair of, of shoes? So tag three people in the post, um, and explain to me, you know, what your favorite pair of shoes are, or why you think you should win them. Just, I just wanna see some interaction from you guys. So, you guys know I'm a sneakerhead. I love my shoes. I'm gonna give you guys my top 10, top 10 shoes of all time. If you're a sneakerhead out there, these are the shoes you need to have in some capacity, in my opinion, to be a true sneakerhead. Um, the first one we're gonna go with is a staple, I think, in every sneakerhead. Boom. The Air Jordan 1s. Next up, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, this is in no particular order, I'm gonna say. Um, New Balance. So, this was my first pair of New Balance. I had to step it up this time and went with these. So these are the 997s. Look at that. Look, like the camo top. I'm just saying, those are those are hot fire flames. Chuck Taylor's all white shoe. And I didn't have this really. I have some NMDs that are all white, but you just need a classic low profile shoe. These are the Air Max 1. This, I mean, this is like. So these are the Vans. In the last five years, my favorite shoe was the Flying Man. I got Courtney some flyness this go around. The all time best Jordan, in my opinion, is the Jordan 11. That's a dope shoe. I've actually never worn these outside. There's like three pairs of shoes I've never worn outside, and this is one of them. I can literally lick it and not feel gross. <laughs> How many shoes is that? One, two. Um, the last pair of shoes, just because we gotta talk about it, Adidas Yeezy changed the game for Adidas. Like I said, I'm gonna give these to my buddy Scott. These are, he doesn't know it yet. But these are people that I appreciate in my life. Uh, I'm sending these <clears throat> to my brother. You guys can enter in to win a pair of off whites. Um, go check it out on my YouTube. Thank you. Go. You know, it's better to to give than to receive, and it's better to have enough for everyone. So let's go give these to those people. All right, I've been on the road. I've been in Ireland. I have not been able to come here. 
This and Chick-fil-A are my jam. So we're at Viva Chicken right now. I go with this uh, taco bowl is what it's called. Extra meat, extra chicken, cilantro rice. My mouth is watering, I cannot wait to have it. If you guys are in St. George, if you come to the gym, this is the place I always recommend. Viva Chicken for life. The sauces that set this apart. So this is the gringo killer. You wanna play it rough? Okay, the gringo killer, man. You just, I usually uh, don't dump it all on, but I did it for dramatic effect. So hopefully that looked cool. This is, uh, this is Steve's first time at Viva Chicken. What'd you get? You got the, the steak? Same thing for steak, man. You got steak and chicken? Steak and chicken. Oh, you're not messing around. I never thought I'd actually miss driving, but being in Ireland and not driving for a week, I've missed that. So I think I need to, I think I need to name the truck. Leave in the comments below, what should I name my truck? It needs to be washed too, but I need something like tank or, no, 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 leave in the comments below. The person who I choose, like the person that I steal the name from, um, I'll send you a pair of fat grips, how about that? Speaking of fat grips, let's go train arms. That's all long, long hair. And what they're doing is they're making like a wave on Whatever it is, it looks good. I looked at that, I was like, okay. I got a good blow dryer at home. Sure. I just don't ever use it. How's everyone? How are you guys? Good, good. What's your name? Edgar. Edgar. And Polina. You guys, this thing here, we you guys gonna sign the wall? We just did right now. You did? All the way, so, oh yeah, Laredo, Texas. Yeah. I see these. I'm liking your gear. That looks good, man. Oh, and the top. Yeah. You're making that look good. Yeah, man. Jim Sharks, cool. sign this guy up to model. Laredo, Texas represent. One of the best things ever. I love it. In fitness culture, we got, we got folks in the house from Laredo, Texas. Represent. Always good to meet people from around the world here in fitness culture. Sweet. <laughs> Where? Bradford. Bradford, Virginia. In the fitness culture app today, on the Swole program, it's an abs and arm day. So we're training abs first. We're gonna be doing, so many people wait to train their abs. We're gonna train abs first by doing two different tri-sets. So that's three exercises. We're gonna do three rounds of them and then move on another three exercises, three rounds of them. And then we have barbell curls, barbell skull crusher, seated dumbbell French press, easy bar reverse curl, and rope press downs. So we're gonna include these all while I'm doing it, showing you each 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 one what is what. Let's get after it. Always foam roll first. Got to get the got to get the worst part out of the way first. Now that we got that painful ab session out of the way, it wasn't too bad. The biggest thing you want to remember when training abs, keep that core tight and then also full range of motion. Abs recover quickly, that's why we train them with high volume and supersets and tri-sets. So now that we're done with that, we're moving on to arms. I'm going to be using <clears throat> my fat grips here. So fat grips, all they're going to do is increase the diameter of that bar, getting more bicep activation. So we got barbell skull crushers. Um, I have seated dumbbell French press. So barbell skull crushers. I'm starting off with barbell curls. 10, 8, 6 for my reps. So we have three sets, 10, 8, 6, um, 90 seconds in between each one of those things. So this is a kind of our compound movement for biceps. And then barbell skull crushers, same thing. 10, 8, 6, 90 seconds rest. It's a very basic arm day here. Uh, and then we have seated dumbbell French press, 
superset with easy bar reverse curl, 10, eight, six on both of them. After you complete one superset, you rest for 90 seconds. I'm gonna again, we'll put, include this onto the screen when I'm doing it. This is where it gets a little crazy. So we got a bunch of drop sets here. I'll explain that to you when we get there. Um, we'll do a bunch of drop sets, rest for 30 seconds, and then we'll go rope push down, a bunch of drop sets, rest for 30 seconds. And that will be good for our arm. My arm should be 20 inches by then. Let's go hit arms. Arms are feeling nice and pumped up on this bicep tricep session. We're gonna finish it off right now. We've got drop sets. So incline bench, we got 10 reps, drop, 10 reps, drop, 10 reps, break for 30 seconds, do the same for triceps, 10, drop, 10, drop, 10. We've got three rounds of that. So essentially it's three rounds of 30 reps. We're extending each set by dropping the weight and continuing on. filling up on beef and chicken beforehand didn't hurt either. So that was, like I said, that's part of our programming. We also have powerlifting programs, the athlete programs. We've actually set up um, another YouTube page called Fitness Culture. Um, and it's actually gonna be dropping, I think the first YouTube video on it here in the next, I would say week. So it's gonna be a lot more educational. My vlogs are gonna have workout, but also other aspects like, you know, giveaways, like doing activities, traveling, travel vlogs, boating, jumping off things, just, just doing fun stuff. Right now, I know it's a good arm workout when you couldn't touch it. Give this a try, let me know what you think. I had a, I had a super busy, busy couple of weeks. And one of the things that, you know, I, I grew up, I grew up around guns. So it's one of the things I love to do and to kind of clear my mind of things and just go focus on something else. So we're gonna go shoot some guns right now. I know that's super polarizing. We'll talk a little bit more about that. I figured on a gun day, the right to bear arms, it's a great way to tie that in. So thank you guys for checking this out. Um, leave a comment below what kind of, kind of uh, workouts we want to come. Do you want us to do like a week of the SWOL program, a week of the athlete program, a week of the power program, um, the lean program? Right now we're finishing up the su summer sizzle. We're gonna be going to Australia um, with a company called Active Escapes. We're actually taking the winner of the summer sizzle but anyone can go. So if you live in Australia or if you live in the States, you wanna come, go to uh, activeescapes.com. We're gonna be there. It starts, it kicks off the fourth and finishes the 10th. So you'd probably wanna fly over the second. So anyhow, thank you guys. It's a good workout. Let's go, uh, let's go blow off some steam. All right, I wasn't lying. We are here. We're gonna let off a few rounds. So I grew up in Idaho. I know this is a polarizing topic right now gun control in America and all those things. For me, I grew up respecting guns. Everyone in my family was a hunter. We had rifles, shotguns, we did it for sport. Um, and basically, about a year ago, I did a movie promotion with the movie American Assassin, went out to California, worked with Terran Tactical out there. Um, if you've seen the movie like John Wick, um, Keanu Reeves trained with, with guns out there for John Wick. I think Will Smith trained with guns out there and just training with them and and seeing the level of markmanship these guys had, it was really cool, it was the sport basically. So I've now decided to get a handgun myself. This is the P365. The guys up at Ready Gunner in Salt Lake have taken care of me. This is an extremely hard gun to get since I had to fill out background check. And I think we need to do more with that. Um, a lot of people with mental health. I think, it, I think we need to treat guns like we treat cars. Test every year, you need to register them. Um, and there's some guns out there I just don't think they need to be in the public's hands. That being said, uh, this is a great way for me. It's a, great, it's a stress relief for me. You know, like it's a sport to go out there. Uh, we have the targets here we're gonna set up. 
today. So this gun is a self-defense, you know, I'm on the road. I want Courtney to learn how to use this gun and not to be afraid of the gun, but to respect it, treat it as it's always loaded. So we're gonna get out there, we're gonna shoot some rounds. Did guns today, we got a bigger gun. This one is definitely more, uh, more powerful. So let's, let's get after it. All right, like I talked about earlier today, Attitude of gratitude. I got a lot of people in my life to be thankful for. First one's gonna go to Scott, then Courtney, Jake, my brother. Let's go give him to Scott. Scott looked after my pool um, while I was, the pool was getting done. It had to be why I was in Portland and Ireland. Scott's been taking care of my pool, so he definitely deserves these. Oh, yo, yo, give me five, give me five, give me five. Yo, come on in, welcome back. Dude, I like this outfit. Actually, how is H double hockey sticks? Shoes. Thanks, uh oh, man. shoes. Woo! What do you think? So clean. You didn't need to get these for me. Let me see those, man. Man, you were taking care of my pool. I like those. So nice. What do you think, man? Love them. What do you think? What do you, think? you guys like, you like them? them? Yeah. Can I have one? <laughs> <laughs> Did you go over to the orders? This is Steve, by the way. Hey, what's up, hey, man? Nice to meet you. Give me two. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, about go. Will you please do it for us? Please. Okay, here we go. That's a warm up.